Hi everyone. So in this short video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just five quick and easy tips that are going to make your Google Slides totally step it up a notch. And people are going to be like, wow, I can't believe you made that Google Slide. Ready? So here we go. So here are my five tips and I'm going to take you through each one. So the first you're going to see is about using pre-made templates. So listen, if you're still starting a Google slide from scratch, you need to stop right now. There are two sites that already make amazing templates, amazing designs. They do all the work for you and then your slides look really, really good. So the two I'm talking about are Slides Mania and Slides Carnival. So you can just go check them out. Um, but you'll see there's all these kind of pre-made designs and templates. Slides Mania, I would say they're very, very similar. Slides Mania is maybe a little bit more cartoony and Slides Carnival is potentially a little bit more, I guess, professional sometimes. Um, but when you click on it, you'll see you get to use the Google slide theme. And then what'll happen is it'll give you this whole kind of presentation already done for you. And then you can either just delete everything or change everything. What I like to actually do is delete everything. And then whenever you go to enter a new slide, you can just kind of click this little button and it'll have all the little layouts of the design. So this is one I took from um, Slides Mania. All right, so definitely use that as a template and you'll see some of that throughout my slide. Second tip is emoji bullets. So bullets are fine, of course, but why not step it up a notch? And a lot of people don't realize you can change your bullets. So the quick and easy way is to click your bullets so you highlight them and then you'd right click or control click or whatever you do to get this other menu and then you do more bullets. So you can do emojis or symbols and so for this one, because it's kind of a space theme, I might choose weather and maybe I'll choose one of these moons and then instead of regular old bullets, what I have is these little moon bullets and look how cool that looks way better than just regular old bullets. So this kind of just again makes it a little bit more fun. All right. The third thing is this website called cooltext.com. If you haven't heard of this, it turns any kind of text into kind of really fancy word art in a matter of seconds. So I use these a lot for like titles. So instead of writing my title up here, what I might do is copy the words I want to use, go to cooltext.com and then you choose whatever kind of design you want. There's a couple pages worth. So I'm going to choose this one and then you just kind of paste it in there and it makes it all nice for you. But the red doesn't really go with the theme. So maybe I would choose something more blue, I guess. And then you just take it, grab it, bring it up top until it highlights and then you put it into your slideshow and you can get rid of the other one. And like that, in a matter of seconds now, you have this kind of really cool looking title. All right, the next tip I'm gonna show you is how to insert an animated GIF. So it is a picture that essentially moves and just makes your presentation a lot more visually appealing. So all you need to do is go search for whatever you wanna search for, so asteroids, animated GIF. And there'll be a bunch of different ones that will move around. So I'm gonna click on this one. And just like the last time, you just kind of click it, grab it, move it over to your presentation and drop it right in there. And then just like that, in a matter of seconds, you have now an image that moves in your presentation, which you can resize and so on and so forth. But there we go. Easy way to kind of spice it up. And my last tip is a lot of times you put photos into your presentation and so you can actually crop them to be different shapes. So the default is always kind of this rectangle or square or whatever it is. So I just want to show you that these little tweaks sometimes make it look professional or more fun. So next to the crop image, there's this little drop down arrow and you can click it and you can make it a different shape. So even something like this, we're just kind of rounding the corners, kind of gives it almost like a TV or more professional look. And you can kind of play around and do all sorts of different shapes and some are really cool. This one kind of makes it look like a button and some are really not great for pictures. But like I said, play around and you'll see that some are perfect and, and some aren't, but you can easily turn your shape into a lot of different shapes. So there you go, there you have it. Those are my five tips for how to spice up and make your Google Slides just a little bit better.